great one. Did you call her, sir? No, I can't. Stand by. Okay. Two thirty two. I went to stop them for following too close. They had just fled from Brinkley PD. And I went, oh, shit. Yes, they got some uh, misdemeanor stuff in here right now. I'm, 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 I'm uh, my passenger side bumper is kind of folded. Hey, man. Well, I attempted to pit because they, she turned to go the wrong way down the ramp to go uh, wrong way on the interstate. So, and then she went to cut back. What they saying? No, no. And then she went to, she turned <laughs> onto the ramp to go the wrong way because I cut her off from being able to get back on westbound. And uh, she turned to go down the ramp. I followed, followed and I was going to pit her right there into the ditch. And she cut back. And when she cut back, I cut across the island and hit the uh, rear tire. Okay. <clears throat> they got into pursuit with it for running 70 down Main Street. They disregarded when they got on the interstate. And uh, I set up at the 232 and they come by me and they were following to, uh, semi way too close. And I got in behind them for that and they took off as soon as I pulled out. Uh, we attempted, but I don't see any tires flat, so I'm going to say that was a no. No. But they hit the cord. That's why I don't know. Tanner said his cable, when they hit, the cable got ripped. Huh? All right. Or she go ahead and start okay. and you can clear the net. Uh, Tanner's truck. Yeah. Is his ID on him? No, you have your ID on you? No, sir. No, sir. I, I do mirrors. She really was just taking me back to the city. Uh, she picked me up, take me back to the city. I do mirrors. I had my show out. Right, I'll go take the incident. Here, one of the records. Get out the window! Who got the mic? Hey, man. Officer! 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 Yes, sir. I asked you to ask you guys something. Can I please talk my mom? No. Look, sir! Sir! Oh, Hang on just a second. Let me get the tag number. That 28 was short to David Adam, 263-542. David Adam, 263-542. You gotta pop the chop! It may be. It's in the inside! I hit him hard enough, I'll kick the wheel. It's on the door! Do what? I hit him hard enough, I'll kick the wheel, bro. Oh. Officer, sheriff, sheriff, officer, the trunk thing on the door, on the side of the door. Do what? The trunk. Oh, okay. I was trying to hit. Okay. And everything. Listen to me. Listen. 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 You have the right to start answering questions without a lawyer present at any time. If at any time you wish to stop answering questions and consult the lawyer at that point, you may do so. Do you understand your rights? Do you understand your rights? No, sir. What do you not understand? Violation of you following too close, and you would have been on your way. Take your mother. I was but instead, you made the choice. And I was on the phone at the whole time. She no said, Please come. She told me if I can get you out of the house. Oh, I'm 
Oh, you putting yourself, everybody else, and me. I was trying to help her. Alright. She thinks I'm lying. She thinks I'm lying. I'm with the group. Which one is the, um, who's over y'all? What do you mean who is over us? Like, who is the, um. This is my thing. Yes, sir. Okay. I can talk to you, officer. Yeah, you can open me if you have anything you want to say. Yes, I do. Uh, uh, what you need to say? Fuck. Uh, was you the one that I was behind? Huh? Was you the one that was behind me? Yes. I am. I put your life in the wrist, too. Yes, you did. How are you supposed to be there for your mother when you're driving like that? Huh? See, I'm facing the police over there. Or is that the thief? I've been dealing with domestic violence with my family for so long. I moved over here to get away from it. My mom just called me and telling me my dad is here. She was shaking and everything on the phone, sir. I was just trying to get there. She's telling me to come. You were driving the normal speed limit when you come by me, and then when I pulled out, you took off. I can, I can tell you the truth, sir. Uh -huh. I say all the way on. What's that? That's Chicago Street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you already ran from Brinkley Police. I'm not even going to. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to. It was nothing in there. I don't have no drugs or nothing, though. So. It was weed in the car. Probably like a, a little blunt. I don't know. And oh, I had a so liquor bottle in there too. So, so where, where do you live? I stay in Mythic. My so mom. Is that where you're going? Yes, sir. Did he, did he advise you to get a ride for us? Uh huh. He said you had to ride for us. She turned to go the wrong way on the interstate. Okay. My mom just. And I went to, I went to try to get up the side of the pitter and she cut it. Talk real quick to go back around the island. So I cut across the island and I, I clipped her as best I could. No, I want. Let me go through this. I don't want to. I don't want to get back on there. I don't want to put y'all out of my business, but I feel like I got this right now. There's somebody in the house to see you. I was like, let me put this in front of him. What's that? So they mean what? I need to talk to Officer Wood. Anything you say, can you do that again? But does that mean I'm going to You're the rest of Queen, yes. What's the name? You ran in a car. Whoa! Whoa! So you have the right to I need to help me. Well, if you would listen to me so you can understand your rights, you would go a lot easier. Okay? But if I can hear I'm going to tell you. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, Kenny will be able to get you for a law. You have the right to speak. Do y'all have anything else on this? We're not there. We're not going there. Okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be held against you in court of law. You have the right to speak to the court of law. You're going to normally sit in the car. No, no. Jail. Sit in the car. Put your feet Mr. in the car. Put your feet in the car. Mr. Way. I'm telling you to put your feet Mr. in the car. Yes. Yes, sir. Hey, can you come back in like five minutes? Okay. Oh, Mr. Hess, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Hanks. Mr. Hanks. If you're not going to listen to him, you're not talking to me, that's fine. Yes, sir. Okay, so you just keep calling me over here if you don't want to talk. Yes, sir. Okay, are you wanting to talk? Yes, sir, okay. please, please, so, please. But before we talk, you're going to have to understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney and have a phone present while you're being questioned. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be presented to your court's defense. Do you understand that? 
Okay, well, let me explain it again. You have the right to remain silent. You understand that? Huh? The right to remain silent. You don't have to talk. Okay, do you understand that you have the right to remain silent? Like y'all telling me to be quiet? No, you okay. have the right if you want to. Want to be quiet, I can, okay. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Anything you say can and will be held against you mm -hmm. in the court of law. I don't think we, we can use anything you say in court. We can use anything you say in court. We can use anything you say you have the right to get an attorney to have an attorney present ready to any question? No, I just sent it to you. And if we present it to you for defense, do you understand all that? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, I just signed it. So we should be quick through here in a second. You can stop answering questions at any yep. time you spoke in the attorney. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. Why did you rebel the notice? 